welcome back. And the next tip for vlogging is audio. It may seem a pretty obvious one, but your microphone, uh, you, you want to keep it about the same distance. I mean, you, just off camera, you, you probably can't see this, but my mic actually sits here and it's roughly that distance every time. So that's how I gauge mine. Um, but you want your volume levels to remain the same. It doesn't matter what software you're using. You'll find that whatever you're using has a meter that's going up and down with the, the volume. So what you want to try and do is keep it around the middle or the bottom end so that you don't want to go in right off the top of the scale. You just want, when you're talking, it's just going above the middle, slight flicker, not excessive sound, not too low. And if you put music on, make sure the background music isn't too loud for your voice. You don't want it covering what you're actually saying. So it may pay to get somebody else to actually listen. Do a sample of whatever it is. Just say, I'm doing a sample, and this is all I'm saying, blah, 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 blah. And then get them to have a quick listen and see how it sounds to them. Because you may not notice it purely because you already know what you're going to say. So if you already know what you're going to say, you're not really listening to the same level as a new listener. Speaking of music, if you've got audio in the background, like your top 40, even if you can, I got caught out with this with one of my first videos, actually. Um, it was the car radio we switched on. Now, bearing in mind it was turned right down, but there's still copyright on that. So don't have any copyright music on there at all. If you do want to have some music, by the way, I will show you where to get some free music, which works great for things like um, slideshows, putting on the bottom of videos where it's road runs, you know, where the car's going or whatever, so they can see the whole video footage just to keep things interested. Or if you're talking, you can put a fast-paced sound on there to sort of make it sound like it's moving a lot faster, using sound to actually make the intro, the video more interesting. Now for audio, I'd recommend Kevin McLeod. I say McLeod, it may, maybe McLeod. Uh, not sure how it's 100% said, so I apologize for that. But this is his website, Incompitech. And there's literally tons and tons of music on here that he's produced himself um we'll just wait for that to load okay uh okay let's go and search for some music So what you find here is you can do a search on the type or what it feels like. Um, let's have a quick search. Just want to get a sample. It's loading. It's not his website. It's my internet connection. Here we go. Let's have some, something bouncy. So then it will list all the music that fits into that category. So maybe like hyper fun. Now, one of the things you've got is these players on here, so you can click listen now. And there you go. And then maybe that's a bit too bubbly for you. Let's, let's try this one. Slightly different sound and feel to it. And then all you do is you download it, because obviously you can get it uncompressed or compressed because it can affect your video if you're doing some editing, if you're compressed or not because of the type of software you may be using. One thing you must do though, is copy these bits, whichever music it is, there's a credit, Just and what I do is I normally just copy that, and I'll put music with this underneath it to link it back to his site, etc., to give him credits for his music that he's produced. I um, hope you find that a bit useful. The last thing relating to audio recommend is, like I was saying, keep your audio in the middle and make sure you record at the same level. You don't want one 
recording to be very quiet, very low, and then the next one really loud, because what happens is if somebody listened to the quiet one and then loaded your next YouTube video, they might have turned the the uh, stereo up to 11 <laughs> and suddenly get a nasty surprise with your loud audio. So try and be consistent with sound. I mean, what I do with myself is these settings don't change on my system unless my daughter's been in here and decided to twirl all the knobs on, on everything. But she hasn't done that this week. Um, but that's pretty much it. This is the important bit with sound. Keep it consistent. Don't adjust your levels unless you need to. You know, for example, I had some people saying my levels were too low. So we actually changed the microphone and the whole setup to improve the sound quality. Um, as such, I haven't had a complaint for a while. Thanks for watching. Yeah.